みなさんこんにちはキムちゃんですあんちはあきめたんぶんきんわいてきん Hello um I was not going to do this video today because I, I didn't think that I would have enough time or anything like that and then I was also like I was not in the mood as well but then um even though it's late right now I just suddenly got this sudden urge to make this video right now because today is May the 18th it is the day that Nagakuri and Mitsuraika graduated from one must me and um the reason why I wanted to make this video is I went on to Hello Sayuni and um, there were two posts and one was from Tsuriaka and one was from Nigakarisa and I was going to do something for my blog but the thing is I've already made two appreciation posts and I put all of my feelings and like all of my thoughts and everything into that already and I did already make a post saying that the two had already graduated so it's like I thought why don't I do it in a video <laughs> instead then um, because um, even though I have expressed my feelings and all that in the video, it's still like today is the day that they graduated and um, a lot of people are very very sad, obviously some people would have cried and well, whatnot, I know I've cried, I cried at 5am this morning because I was still awake like an idiot but I cried at 5am this morning and because I was so overwhelmed because it was all happening, it was going to happen, they were going to leave morning with me today and it, it, it's just kind of really really hit that it's now <laughs> this morning with me has changed from what we know and members that we love are leaving and they're leaving their legacy to these new members because now there's Mrs. Shigasumi and Tanaka and they're the only two of the older generation that we know of that are left um when I came into this fandom it was way back in 2009 so not that long ago but um, the first graduation I experienced was Kawakasumi's and that one was kind of a blow but it wasn't as much of a blow because as Kamai Eri's was because um, I was barely into Morning Rust Maven so um, Kamai Eri's Dungeons and Linlands was the first concert that really gave me a big blow the first time I heard that news um, I cried a lot I didn't particularly like any of these members at all but when I heard that news I just burst into tears my sister told me because we just lost our internet and then suddenly we got it back and then the news was up that Kamayami and all that were graduating and then Takashi I graduated and now it's Mitsui Aika and Nigakurisa and um, for me Nigakurisa and Mitsui Aika are two of the members that are quite special to me personally because Nagakurisa was the one who kept me going, like liking Morning Rusme. She is the reason that I kind of kept continuing with it all. And then Mitsui Aiko was a member that I kind of noticed and I kind of really liked her because she was just so cute and sweet and she was, she just looked different. And I like the underdogs, I really do. So um, I was like, oh, she's so sweet. And then she was an underdog and everything, and I just liked her. She was so so lovely. Um, and then. That, that was pretty much it and then the new members came in and it's kind of like I've grown favourites with the new members but now two of the members who actually started off my fandom for one of us way they're gone so it's like it's really really sad because they obviously everyone has a member who means a lot to them no matter what Kahakasumi means a lot to me but Nigakurisa and Mitsuyaiko mean that little bit more to me especially Nigakurisa and so it's like when your favourite member graduates I didn't really experience how much it hurt <laughs> until it happened and so when you get about it I'm just thinking this is it, this is a new morning must make, this is a morning must make but all the members that me and my sister knew they're gone now and a lot of people have already experienced this before their members have gone but obviously being new to this I didn't experience it my sister experienced it when Kamai was gone but I didn't experience it until now, <laughs> twice or three years down the line pretty much and so it, it, it's kind of like a new feeling for me so I, I don't know what I'm going to feel like when like Suzuki Kanon or Eripon leaves because Suzuki Kanon's my first fave ninth gen member so it's like Eripon's my ultimate favourite member but <laughs> Suzuki Kanon was the first one I liked so I have a feeling I'm going to be really really sad when she goes because she's just so lovely and bubbly and everything um, I go on a site and it's a confession site and somebody put that um, when Nigakurisa graduates I'll cry when Sayumi graduates I'll cry and 
Suzuki Kan, she graduates our John Malibu endeavor. I kind of connected with that person's confession because I think that if, if Suzuki Kan graduates, I will like cry. And I kind of babble, I'm going off topic, I'm going away from Lucy and Ike's graduation, but yeah, they graduated today. I have no idea what anything was like, but there are some pictures on some sites like Hello Sai Uni and Ram they didn't and Tokyo Hive. And some of those pictures do include the ones that show the lights and it was filled with purple and it was filled with um, green so it's really really nice that that happened I didn't think it would be filled with purple because Ica's was so um it, it was so early no, not early it, it was so like late into the um concert that we found out that she was leaving so I didn't think that it would be purple or anything but it was full of purple so it was really really nice and um Nigaki's obviously was green when I saw Nigaki's I just started crying because um <laughs> I don't know because I just like crying I guess <laughs> but these two members have graduated so it, it's it's like it, it's different it's not it, it's all new and have <laughs> generation is coming up and I'm gonna do a separate video for that because that's more of a happy video for me because I've been anticipating the announcement for other general auditions now since the temp generation were in and I predicted that it would be announced this year after Gaki's graduation and it's happening um well I predicted it before Gaki's graduation was announced but like, I'm so glad it's happening but we've lost two of the older members now it's all new people and this is strange some people won't like this anymore some people won't like this new one of us me but other people will enjoy it and some people will encourage these auditions and i'm really really glad that this new this new one of us family is entering a new era it's totally different it's it's refreshing it's beautiful because i never experienced it um because I never experienced that monomous me before that everyone else did. Um, I do like this change. Um, I experienced monomous before I graduated. So I mean, I was getting into it when the change was starting. So it, it's like this change is nothing new for me really. Because every year something's happened. There's been a graduation. There's been an audition. There's been a lot of things going on. So I'm really, really happy. Um, but yeah. So Nagaku Risa and Mitsuyaiko graduated at Omedeko and I'm, I'm just really really happy that it went out so smoothly and I'm glad that I could to graduate with a member who I think um, is just as great as she is. It's like a lot of people are furious with it because they say that Mitsuyaiko is taking her spotlight or um, Nagaku Risa is overshadowing her but I think that with their graduation they're going to share it. I know that there will be some differences in it, like Nigakarisa does have a graduation outfit but, um, as opposed to what Mitsui Aika has. Mitsui Aika does not have a graduation outfit as far as I know, um, but she did get her solo song so that was fine. And also I heard, I realised that, Nig well I, I read that Nigakarisa's song that she sang at her solo was Never Forget and that was the song I really wanted her to sing because when I watched the EMM um, concert where it was the EMM 10, 10 year anniversary concert where five of the members of Mono Musume Kawakusumi, Nigaku Risa, Abinetsume, Kotomaki and um, Kaori the, where they all joined together, Nigaku Risa sang Never Forget and that is the one song that I thought that she should have sung at graduation and she sung it so I'm really really happy and it's, it's been an overwhelming day really there's been a lot of things happening in Nagaku Risa graduating Mitsui for graduating 11th gen auditions being announced yes and also um there has also been the whole um what was it ah, I don't know oh yeah 50th single the 50th single ah I'm so excited <laughs> anyways what are your feelings on this Nagaku Risa Mitsui Aika graduation going on right now? <laughs> Obviously it's all happened, it's all done. Nagaku Risa and Mitsui Aika have officially graduated from one with me and Nagaku Risa leaving Hello Project as well. But Mitsui Aika staying in. Mitsui Aika's also got her own profile coming up on her project so that's nice. So it's really anticipating. Anyway, what are your thoughts and feelings on it? I hope you're all having a lovely night. It's 
it is night time here and um do you have any favorite members of the new members of modern Musume? now what do you think of this new modern Musume? oh my god so exciting i'm really anticipating it and who do you think should be in 11th gen i need to really make a video about just 11th gen and my thoughts and feelings on that because that is a whole totally different matter of happiness <laughs> but yeah Okay, Alikaska Sayonaka. I hope everyone's doing well. Janet. Kim Chante. Janet.